Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. So in the previous few tutorial, as you guys remembered that we have uh, created this person profile activity and we have added these two buttons and these all these fields. Okay. So now in this video tutorial, first of all, we will uh, retrieve the user data here. Okay. And then we will further work on it. So let's do it so that we can start work. Uh, on our uh, friend request and the cancel friend request and the accept friend request so first of all this is our person profile activity and for the time saying we have already uh, as you know that we have copied these fields I mean the pick the profile picture and these text view from our uh, click post activity uh, sorry from the profile activity so for the time saving I will just go there and I will uh, copy the code from there so go to the profile activity and here above we have these uh, I mean the, the username the user profile name so for the time saving we will uh, we will copy this field I mean the names the variable names from here and go to the person profile activity and paste it here on the person profile activity you can see that and now the next thing is uh, we have to initialize the instances here so for that as we will be right uh, I mean there will be large number of code lines I mean in the upcoming video tutorials as we will add the friend request features or you can say the friend request cancel friend request functionalities so we have to keep the code clean so that we can understand I mean that you guys and also me that is we can understand the code easily if we read our code okay so for that we will create methods okay so we have to initialize these instances here I mean these fields so we will call a method here and we will call it uh, I mean we will give it a name as uh, initialize fields this is the method name and now let's create this method so you can see that the method is created successfully so now inside this method what we gonna do let's go to the profile activity and from here you can simply copy this text view and this user profile image okay copy this and go to the person profile activity and paste that inside this initialize fields method and make sure to remove the IDs okay because uh, on our person profile activity we have different IDs okay so first move all these IDs and uh, now let's check what the ID is here so for the profile pic uh, picture the ID is person profile pic and let's give IDs to this so person profile pick which is this one and for the user profile name we have person full name so we can say person full name and for the user status we have a person profile status person profile status oh sorry this is the username okay so for the username we have a person username okay so make sure to give it proper IDs okay so we have person username and then for the profile name it is person full name person profile status and for the country it is person country and then we have user gender so for this we have the id person gender and for the relation we have person relation person relationship status let me confirm this yes person relationship status and then we have user dop so the id for this is user uh, sorry person dob and for the user profile image we have person profile pic 
yeah that's it so this is our initialized field so we have initialized these fields and we call that method inside our own create method now the next thing is to display the data here okay and then we will move to the send friend request feature or functionality and before we move to that we have to initialize these buttons and we have to cost it so let's create buttons here so we can say private buttons and the first button is the send friend request so we can call it a send friend request button and the second one is the decline friend request so we can say decline friend request Oh, sorry for that decline friend request button so these are our two buttons and come to the initialize fields and let's cast this button also so we can say send friend request button So the send friend request button equals to button find view by id dot and for the send friend request we have person send friend request button okay this is the id for this and let's copy this we will change it for the decline friend request so we have a decline friend request button and the id for the decline is person decline friend request okay let's confirm this from here you can see that okay so these are the ids and uh, yeah that's it now the next thing is to display the information i mean the user information uh, so for that what we're gonna do so before we move to that let me tell you that how it will work so when a user click on this find friends okay so he will search for so when he click on uh, here i mean on this amount fall then all the information will be displayed on this okay so from there uh, we will i mean he will the user will be able to send from request okay so now what we gonna do we have to go to the find friend uh, find fr find friends activity and from there we will send a key of this specific user which we already done so let's go to the find friends activity first and here on this activity come down here and we have this populate view holder method and inside that method what we gonna do here we can say view holder dot m view dot set on click listener new on click listener and inside this on click method we are first we are going to get the key i mean the key of that specific user on which uh, let's say i am online okay and i search for this beautiful girl so when I click here on uh, here, then as you know that there are specific unique key, I mean the user ID inside the database. So we have to get that unique specific ID. So for that, what we're gonna do, we can say visit underscore user underscore ID equals to get ref position dot get key so in this way we get the user id or you can say the specific key of that user from the database so now once we get that then we have to send the user to the person profile activity so for that we will create uh, intent so we can say intent 
profile intent equals to new intent and we are on the find find friends activity dot this and we want to send the user to the person profile activity dot class make sure to put a semicolon here and start the activity for the profile intent so yeah that's it now with the help of uh, we have to send this uh, unique user ID so then we will be able to display the information here on the person activity okay so for that let's send that here okay from here we can say profile intent dot put extra and we have to give it a name so the name for it will be visit underscore user underscore id put a comma and we can pass the variable here which is visit user id so you can see that visit user id which is this variable in which the key is stored and we have to give it a name which is visit user id and now let's move to the person profile activity dot java and here we need a reference to our users node from the database so we have already created that on our profile activity so for the time saving let's copy it from here so we have a database reference so copy this database reference profile user ref also copy this uh, firebase auth we will be needing that so copy that go to the person profile activity and let's paste it here and let's come back and copy this m auth and first of all let's copy this private string current user id from here and we will paste that here so now the current user id i mean the user who will be online he will send, he or she will send friend request to some other person so we will call it as sender sender user id and also let's create another variable and we will call it as receiver user id yeah that. and also we will this is the profile user ref and we will be needing a user's ref to display other person information here on this uh, person profile activity so we'll be needing user ref for that okay let's go to the profile activity and from here we are going to copy this m auth equals to firebase auth dot get instance copy this let's go to the person profile activity and above the initially initialize fields method pass that here and now the first thing which we need is to receive the id for the find friends activity which we are sending okay you can see that in the profile intent we are sending this so we have to receive this here on our uh, person profile activity so for that we can simply write the receiver user id uh, we can call it a receiver user id because that will be the id of the person to whom we will send friend request so that's why we create that receiver user id variable so it will be equals to get intent dot get extras dot get put these columns and come here make sure to use the same name which we are sending from the find friends activity so copy this and paste that name here okay dot to string and now we need to create a user ref i mean a reference to the user node so by using the user ref which we created okay so here we can say dot child and the child is the user's node so by using this user ref we are going to retrieve the information of the user i mean let's say i click here then we will uh, i mean we will receive the id of that specific user i mean the key 
uh, inside this receive user id now go to the profile activity and from here you can select i mean you can copy this profile user ref dot at value event listener copy this whole method up to this on cancel okay up to here control c go to the person profile activity and pass that here after this initialize fields method okay And now, uh, first of all, change this profile user ref to user ref dot add value event listener, and we are on the person profile activity. So change this to person profile activity dot this, and it is the same. Which we, I uh, mean, I hope you guys know the meaning of this. Okay, we are retrieving the data from the database, and we are displaying on these fields which we initialize here down below. I explained these things when we were working on the profile activity, but this time we are doing it for the receiver. Okay, we have uh, the user ref and it is linked to the user node, so we have to search. I mean, the specific user, I mean, the specific profile on which the user will click after search. So we have to pass the receiver ID here. So you know that this is the ID of the user. Uh, for which an online user will search okay receive user id so let's run our app to see if it is working or not so let's wait for it graded build running now so our app is running now successfully and now let's come here let's find new friends find friends and let's write a name here click search and you can see that this is the id so let's click on it and you can see that it is working fine i mean it looks amazing and now let's search for i mean let's search uh, let's check it for another users so let's check it for this beautiful girl aisha here just click on it and you can see that it is working really nice i mean uh, in this way we have successfully uh, retrieve the user, uh, the, retrieve the data of the receiver. I mean, the person to whom we will uh, send friend request and uh, cancel friend request and the functionalities which we will be adding in the upcoming video tutorials. Okay, so that's it for this video. And in the next video, we will start working properly on the send friend request functionality. I mean, the friends. The send friend request, the cancel friend request, and the decline friend request functionalities. So, if anyone is new to our channel, then please subscribe our channel. Thumbs up for this video. Let us know about your reviews in the comment section down below. And yeah, take care of yourself. Bye for now.